custom sky. Highlight your footage and go to the color tab. Then go on the right side, right click on your note, select add note and then add serial. Highlight that second note, select the qualifier, then select 3D and then select picker add, which is the one with the plus sign. Then go over the window screen and then draw a lines over the sky to make a mask. When you're done with the sky, go on the right side on the effects, then type sky replacement, then grab it and leave it on the wire on the second note. Then connect the first blue square from the second note to the first blue triangle of the third one. On the right go in the settings, on artificial sky, increase the value of sky opacity to 1, pick a horizontal and sky color, then go down and increase the values of cloud opacity. Now the clouds will be steady, but if you want to animate them, you can go in the beginning of the timeline, create a keyframe on cloud time, and then go further in the timeline or in the end and change the values of cloud time of your liking. And that way the clouds are not just gonna stand there like a picture. Clone effects. You need to have two footages that are shooted from the same angle and basically you want to get the second one and leave it over the first one. Then highlight the second one and go on the right side on the inspector. Then go in the corping area and you wanna corp it from the right until we see the both objects. If you're using them in a different order, you need to corp from the left. Now you can see that there's a difference in between the colors and you can tell there are two different clips. To fix that, you just need to increase the size of the softness. Burn transition. Go to effects, video transitions and type burn. Then you wanna get burn away and leave it in between the clips. By default, it should be set on directional and you can set up the angle, but I like to use the burn transition on path but you can pick either of them. Circle Crop This one is used most in explanation videos, so I'm getting my character which is on video number 2. I'm highlighting it and I'm going to the Fusion tab. There I highlight the media in and select this Eclipse, which is giving me this Eclipse node. Then I go to the window and I can manually adjust the size of that just by pulling the sides. When you're done with the size, you can press the middle and adjust the camera in the center. Then just take this footage and leave it over the other one. Select the transform, take it down and leave it in one of the corners. Simple as that. Stabilize. As you can see, I'm having a handhold camera which is not stable. So in order to stabilize, there are a few ways. One of them is going to the color tab, select your note, then select the tracker. Close to that you can see stabilizer, click on that and then just under that you can select stabilize. It will take you just a few moments, now it's ready and when I play it you can see that it's way more smoother than it was before. Light rays. You can use the light rays for the video footage, text or some images. In open effects you can find light rays, leave it over your footage. And now the main part is to adjust the keyframes. So I go in the effects and I'm selecting the position to start from the left side. And I'm decreasing the length to zero. And I'm making a keyframes on the length and the position. And then I'm going further in the timeline where I want to start revealing. And right there is where I increase the length. And I also rotate the position a little bit to about middle values. Then I'm going where I want this effect to end, further in the timeline, let's say around here. And now we'll increase the values of the position to make it go to the right even more. Then I'm gonna create an endpoint for the length by making another keyframe. And then going a few frames forward and there is where I take down all the length to make the light rays disappear. And that's the result. Like I said you can use this for a logo, text or any video footages. Also, you can use it as a social. You just need to take the transform, take it down and leave it in one of the corners. Simple as that. Background Blur So I'm having a video footage, I highlight it and I'm going to the color tab. Then I'm selecting this window, then selecting the circle and I'm adjusting the length of the circle. Also, I'm pulling the outer side of it to make it even softer. I know you can use the magic mesh, but I'm using the free version. Then go to effects and add a Gaussian blur over the node. Now everything in the area is blurred and you want to invert that by pressing this button. Now everything outside is blurred and you can control the amount of blur you have by increasing and decreasing the strength. Split screen. 
So I'm having two HD footages which are 1920 to 1080 and to make it evenly split you need to divide 1920 on 2 and you're gonna have 960. That's why you want to copy it from the left and the right on values 480 because the total of them is 960. And then on the position you want to type 480 and about the second footage you can click on the transform and you can adjust it as you wish or if you want to be perfectly positioned you can go to inspector and on position hicks you can type minus 480 if you're having other resolution just divide the first metric on the amount of split screen you want vertical wheels in your media pool right click on your timeline and then select timeline settings uncheck the use project settings and select the settings on the resolution on 1080 to 1920 then select ok to apply and then you're ready to add your footages if you want to see some more davinci Resolve effects make sure to watch this video right here i'm sure you're gonna like it thanks for watching and see you in the next one